Okay, so before we get in and have a proper look around this, I want to be as brief as I can on just explaining the way you come up using Ecamm really, that the structure, the hierarchy of how it's put together. <laughs> this is my third time recording it because I kept going too deep and I want to keep it as easy as possible. And I think if I say to you, if we were thinking of coming at a PowerPoint or a keynote presentation, we're kind of looking at the similar structure. For example, if I wanted to do a webinar for this Ecamm Live Academy in Keynote, I would start off with a new project. I would start a new project and I would call it my Ecamm Live webinar. And then what do I get inside of Keynote? Straight away, it gives me my opening slide and then I can change that around. I can put text on it. I can put myself on there. I can do all of these things. And then when I want it to change, I just create another slide and then I alter that one around, then I create another one and I end up with a set of slides inside of it, inside this one project, okay? Now, when we bring that over to Ecamm, why am I saying that? I think it's a good way of demonstrating how this works over here. So first of all, I want you to go to the top and I'm pleased that it's like this at the minute just to point this out. When I say to go to the top and we're looking for profiles, if you look on my screen at the minute, Finder is selected, not Ecamm. And if you're less familiar with computers, you might get a bit stuck here. That top bar will always be what, what has been last selected or my default app. So what I need to do is just click here into Ecamm and you'll see that that goes across now and Ecamm is the top navigation. And then we want to select profile. You're not going to have this list. Yours will just literally say new profile at the minute. If you like projects, these are webinars and things that we've done, or it might be my different groups that I'm going doing Facebook lives into, or as I say, webinars and things. So you'll build this up over time. We'll get more into this later. I just want you to see how this works. So top level is the profile. This is the pot that we're putting everything in. This is our folder. And then from that, we come into scenes. So in that PowerPoint picture, you've got a set of scenes and you would understand that, that every time you click it and go to a new one, something changes on the screen. Well, that's what happens here in scenes. And while we're not looking at slides coming in, it might be that one scene is me on camera like this. Another one might be a second camera to the side or from above. Another scene might be a screen share. Another scene might be a presentation, it might be me sharing my iPad screen, it might be me interviewing. All of those things where something changes on the screen, we're going to create a new scene for. And all we do is we can click between them. We'll show you in another video how we set all these up. And then the overlays, because people get confused between scenes and overlays, they look very similar on here when you see the little tabs. The overlays are the assets. They're the things that we're putting onto the screen here. So it might be images, it might be text, it might be our name, a logo, it might be a timer, all kinds of things that we can add onto the screen to build it, we use overlays. So we start with the project, the profile. We then come down to scenes. And then when we want to add anything to the scene, we put overlays on. So hopefully that makes some sense. We are going to have separate videos on profile scenes and a ton of videos on overlays that's all coming to you today. I just want you not getting into a mess with all your overlays in the same scene while you're messing around. You'll end up saying, oh, I can't use this. I'm going to go back to something basic. It's all because you need to start off and organize and structure it well. And I promise you, you'll be thanking me for having it done this way. All right. So I reckon in the next video, let's just have a complete walk around this. I'm going to show you everything on the screen and uh, then we'll branch off and we'll do individual ones going into more detail on everything afterwards. So let's jump in. Let's have a look around Ecamm.